Good day everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Windows Update Install Error 0x800 F081F or any kind of error message on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now basically what happened then when you try to update your Windows, it goes for downloading and installing, but finally it gave you an error message with some kind of error code that I told you this error can be a bit different but make sure that you apply the steps that I will be sharing in this video and it will be working for any related problem. Now the video can be a bit lengthy guys because I will be covering the entire solution so make sure that you do not skip any part and I'm very sure by the end of this video your problem will be fixed. Now the first thing that is recommended that please make sure that you have the enough space in your C drive or wherever your operating system has been installed. So whenever you go for the update, it needs some space to be updated. So you can open up your file explorer, then go to this PC and where it says your local disk C with the Windows logo, just assure that you're not running out of storage. And if you don't have the enough storage, the Windows will not be updating. This is the first thing that you will have to keep in your mind because this is a basic thing that most of the people ignore. And they go with the deep troubleshooting and then finally they get to know that the problem was just because of low storage problem. Once you are done with this, click on your Windows search. Type appwiz.cpl. Hit the enter key. Program and feature box will be up. Now here from the left hand menu option, you have to click on turn Windows feature on or off. Now here at the top only you will find .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8. So you can uncheck both this option of .NET. So if you find two or three, uncheck all of them. Then click on OK. And then click on Close. Now next click on your Windows search. Type CMD. Right click on the command prompt. Click on Run as Administrator. Then click on Yes. Now here you have to run a command that you will be getting in the description. So you can copy from the description box. Come back to this black window, make a right click and it will be automatically pasted. And now you can see that it's running now. So this command may take some time. So just wait until this is all completed. So once the command is completed, next what you will have to do, you need to click on your window search again. Type GP edit, click on edit group policy. The group policy editor will be up. Now, in case if you are using the home edition of Windows 10 or 11 and you are not able to open the group policy editor, then um, I have already created a video that how you can enable the GP edit on the home edition. You can watch that video. The link will be in the description. So once you come in the group policy editor, you have to click on administrative template under computer configuration. Then on the right hand side, you have to click on system, double click on it. Now here scroll down and you will find an option here a specify setting for optional component installation and component repair. So once you get this option just make a double click on it. Another box will be popping up. Now here you have to choose this option to enabled. Then below you will find download repair contain an optional feature. Check this option as well. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Now you also need to make sure that the Windows update is not being disabled from the Windows registry. So click on Windows search again, type REG EDIT, then click on registry editor. Now here in the registry from the left hand menu, double click on HK local machine, then look for software, double click on it. Then in the software, you have to look for policies. So you can look for the policies, double click on it to expand it. Then you have to look for Microsoft. Expand it. Then you have to go to the windows. You can expand it. Then here you have to find windows update. So if you find any key by the name windows update, then double click on it. Then you may find AU option here. So what you will have to do, you just need to right click on it. Choose delete. And Windows update, if there is any kind of key created on the right hand side that says no auto update. So you also need to delete that key as well. All right. So once you have assured all these things, now finally you will have to restart your computer. 
so once the computer comes up sign in with your pin or password and now again click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl hit the enter key from the left hand menu option click turn windows feature on or off now here select both the option .NET Framework 4.8 and 3.5 then click on OK and then choose this option let Windows update download the file for you and once it will be downloaded the changes will be now applied so kindly wait it may take some time and now finally it says Windows completed the requested changes so we are all set okay now finally what you will have to do you will be getting few command in the description you need to copy all these command and paste into your notepad so you can bring up your notepad paste all these command like this then click on file click on save as and this you need to rename it as windows update fixer and then you have to add dot bat now this is the most important part that you have to add dot bat that is the extension and below save as type you can select to all files and then you can save it to your document or wherever you want to click on save now once saved you can close it again bring up your documents or wherever you have saved just make a right click on it then choose run as administrator then click on yes and now you will see that this all command will be running automatically so you don't have to manually copy and paste only it can ask you some kind of permission like do you want to continue the operation so i will press the y key hit the enter so again this command will take some time and once it's all been completed then again you will have to restart your computer and now this time when you will go ahead and try to update your windows and retry so you will not be getting any kind of error message and your windows will now be updating so this was the best method now in case if this doesn't work then you can also try deleting the software distribution file many times software distribution the old software distribution file create a problem while updating the windows 10 or windows 11. so what you have to do you need to bring up your file explorer go to this pc then you have to click on local disk c then here you have to go to in windows double click on it now here in windows you have to find software distribution so once you get it double click on it now here you can delete all the file okay so you can make a right click and choose delete so once you have deleted it again you can make a restart and see that if the problem has been fixed so this was the second solution now the third solution is the most effective solution and this is for the people for whom the first two options but the first two method doesn't work so next you have to bring up your google chrome browser and if you're using windows 11 then you will be getting this windows 11 link you need to come here to the bottom and download windows 11 disk image so what you have to do you need to click on select download choose windows 11 multi edition then click on download choose the product language then click on confirm and now it might ask you that you want to download for 64 bit or 32 bit so just click on it and the downloading will be started now if you're using windows 10 then you have to come to this page now here you won't find the iso download option so what you will have to do you need to click on the three dot on your google chrome at the right in top over up to more tools then click on developer tools now in the developer tool on the right in top you will find the three dot click on it then over up to more tools again then click on network conditions now here below you will find an option use browser default uncheck this option then from the drop down choose chrome os now again reload the page of windows 10 download and then if you scroll down you will find the windows 10 2023 update so now here you can download it so once you have downloaded the iso file you will be getting here like this you have to double click on it click on open then you will be getting setup.exe double click on it click on yes now it says install windows 11 and here you have to click on change how setup download update choose it not right now then click on next click on accept 
now here you don't have to worry because you won't be losing any of your data everything will be safe like your application and your data in your drive nothing will be deleted and everything will be safe and then next you may get a message that you want to keep all the files so make sure that you select the first option that you want to keep all the file and then finally you will have to click on next and install and the installation will now be started now it will take some time about 30 minutes or 35 minutes maybe less or more than that so you will have to wait here until the process has been completed and once the installation will be completed you will be getting the login page where you can log in with your account and after that again there will be a welcome messages and everything installation step will be coming up and then when you will check your computer you will find that all kind of issues have been resolved the windows is now updating and even you have not lost any kind of your data and applications so hopefully guys you will be now getting the solution after watching the entire video and if this worked for you do not forget to like and subscribe and if still if you have any kind of problem question let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video bye bye